Well, 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 look who's using a little bit of color. This is so rare, you guys. <laughs> you know I don't use color very often, but I was compelled <laughs> just because, I don't know, it's springtime, we're getting into the warmer months, it's festival season, there's a lot of fun stuff going on. Now, I wanted this look to be appropriate for just kind of any springtime outing, so I kept it pretty minimal, I mean, even though they are pretty vibrant colors. I didn't go crazy with it, but it's also really appropriate if you are headed to music festivals. You guys know I just did a festival-inspired lookbook, so I figured why not do sort of a complimentary makeup look too. Actually, when I created this look, I kind of was like checking it out, and I, I thought this sort of looks like kind of a modern wearable Cleopatra look, just with that blue. So it's nothing intense, there's no black liner, there's actually no liner at all. <laughs> so if you're anything like me and using color sort of freaks you out, it's kind of a scary thing, uh, something like this is great just because you're using so little of the color but you're really making a statement. So enough yapping on my end, I'm just gonna jump right into the tutorial. Oh wait, before I do that, I wanna let you guys know that my next video will be a Q&A video because so many of you have been requesting it. So, go ahead and leave your questions down in the comments section if there's anything you're dying to know about me. <laughs> so that said, let's hop into the tutorial. Alright, of course I'm starting with a clean bare face and I'm going to start off prepping my skin and I'm going to use a new primer that I haven't used before, I just got my hands on it. It is by Napoleon Purtis. This is their Autopilot um, Primer. It's got a nice milky texture, so I think this is going to work out nicely for a look that I want to stay pretty lightweight. Because this is sort of a warm weather kind of makeup look, I do want it to be more on the lightweight, sort of sheer side. So I'm going to use two products. One is the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. This stuff is awesome. I've been using it a lot lately, just like out on a, an ordinary day, just minimal makeup look. I'll just kind of pat it on. I usually use Ginger, which is one shade lighter than this, but again, I want to sort of deepen my um, complexion just a tad. So I'm going to put this stuff on the back of my hand. And this is nice and sheer. It's almost like a tinted moisturizer, but it just gives a beautiful glow to my skin. But because I want just a little bit more coverage, I'm going to take the NARS um, all, what, what is this called? It's the All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation, um, and this is a little bit lighter, so it's gonna lighten up the color a tad. So I've got this on the back of my hand, I'm just gonna mix it up with my finger, and then just start applying just big chunks on my face and then blend it out. All right, now taking my Duo Fiber brush, I'm gonna take that and just go through and blend it out. And I'm just taking a little bit more off the back of my hand. I'm just going in and adding a little bit more coverage. So I'm definitely going to warm up my skin a little bit more than this. Um, but first I'm going to go in and conceal a little bit. I'm just going to take my finger and just dab this on. And this is just going to give me a little bit of brightness and just a little bit of coverage under my eyes. And of course now I'm going to go in and set this. Um, if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I am extremely particular when it comes to powders. There is one powder that I love, and ever since I discovered this, I really have not been interested in any other powders. Um, this is the Charlotte Tilbury um, Airbrush Flawless um, Finish Powder. Is that it? Oh, no, it's not. Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder. Um, this is in, I think, the medium shade. And I always go in and set my concealer under my eyes with this stuff. Um, I highly recommend it. it is, it's just such a good powder. I really haven't ever tried anything quite as good. All right, let's get on to adding a little bit of warmth to this mug. Uh, I'm going to be using, actually, a concealer. I'm going to take my Naked Skin Concealer by Urban Decay in the color Dark, and I'm going to use this to warm up my face. So I'm just going to put a little dab there, a little dab there, a little bit along my hairline, and just a little bit at my um, the tip of my nose. So then I'm going to go in with my Elaine Badreau um, angled brush and I'm just gonna go in and blend that out. Again, I don't want to do any intense contouring because this look just doesn't call for it, 
but I am warming up my skin. But the warmth does not stop there. I'm gonna go in with sort of a warm glow now for my face. Um, this is a product by Hourglass, and it, you guys might be familiar with their ambient lighting powders. Those are their highlighters. Now they have the bronzers, and they're really gorgeous colors. Um, you can see it's like swirled in there. So I'm gonna take a powder brush and just sort of start applying this pretty liberally all over my face. I'm not gonna apply it just in my contour zone. I'm kinda just gonna put this like all over veil on my skin. For the most part, this stuff's going everywhere. So now that I've got that glow going, I do wanna add a little bit of a pop of color to my cheeks. So I'm gonna take a cream blush, and this is by, um, by Bare Minerals, it's called Papaya Passion. Very lightly, just using the very tips of the brush, or the tip of the brush. I'm gonna start swirling that onto my cheeks. The color is just gorgeous. It's perfect for the spring. It's like a nice um, bright coral shade. One final thing I wanna do here is just add a little bit of a gold highlight to this look. So I'm gonna use my Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo, and this is in the number two. Um, I believe the number one has more of a pearly pink highlight, and this one has more of that gold highlight. So I'm gonna take my fan brush here and just kinda of dip into that and just start very lightly dusting that on my cheeks and into my brow bone and right above the arches of my brows All right, we are ready to move on to the eyes. Now, to prep my lids, I'm gonna be using my Smashbox 24 Hour Primer. I've just had a lot of luck with this. It's been pretty much my go-to primer for a few months now, at least. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on my fingers and concentrate this mostly in the crease and then just put a little bit at my lids as well. Now for the shadows, I just got myself a bunch of these Makeup Geek shadows, which I had tried only a few of before, and I got sent a bunch of these, and we are going to start actually with um, a pale shade, and it is called Peach Smoothie. Here it is. Um, and this is gonna go in my brow bone um, and into my crease a little bit, just to, I'm sure you guys have seen me do this a lot, where I put a pale shade right up here, because that makes everything else easy to blend over it. So when you put a light powder up, up there, um, the darker colors that you build on it are just so much easier to blend. So if you're having a hard time blending, try this trick, it definitely works. So uh, this is just a nice, very pale peach shade, and that's gonna go right there above my crease, just blending that into my brow bone. Just really working it into that hollow space and a little bit above it. All right, next up I'm gonna move on to my lids and I'm gonna use this color called Cosmopolitan. It's a bit of a shimmery, deeper peach shade. Um, so I'm just gonna use a smaller blending brush and I'm just gonna sort of press that color into my lids from the inner corner all the way to the outer corner and ju just start blending it into the crease a little bit with that first peach color that I laid down. It's a very nice, um, neutral, shimmery shade. Your girl needs a manicure. I don't know if you can tell, but my nails are looking busted. All right, next up is a pretty fun color. This is called Poppy. It is a stunning red-orange shade, perfect for the springtime. So I'm gonna take, um, let's see, where is it? Nope, that's not it. Okay, I'm gonna take that same blending brush and just using the tip, I'm gonna pick up some um, product and of course um, tap it so the excess comes off. And this I'm gonna work just into that outer corner of the lid and the crease. So it's just gonna give me a nice pop of orange without being like too clownish, I guess, because orange can be a pretty intense color, but I'm just sort of pressing that into the outer third of my lid. Just working it into the crease. And then taking that blending brush again and just 
smoothing out the edges. I'm not trying to blend this too much, I'm just trying to smooth out the edges just a little bit. Just be a little bit more conservative with how much product you apply at a time. So you can always build, you can always add more, but uh, you can't, It's or I mean you can, but it's really hard to take away. It's just like a painting, you know, you, you do it slowly until you come out with the desired result. I'm taking a very small amount on the tip of my brush and just working that into the outer part of the lash line. Very, very little. And just blending away. And what this is going to do is just add a little bit more definition to my lash line and sort of turn my eyes upward very slightly. Okay, next up I'm going to take a shadow that I used in my, if you saw it, the Peach Shimmer Makeup Tutorial. This is a foil shadow and it's called In the Spotlight. I think it's a gorgeous color, so I'm going to take just my ring finger, take a little bit of this and start dabbing it just at the center of my lids because that's the highest point of your lids and that's where it catches the light. So um, if you highlight this area, it's going to make your eyes look nice and wide awake and big. So I'm just going to apply and just blend out just with my finger. All right, so I'm pretty happy with how this is looking. So now we can move on to that gorgeous blue shade. So again, this shadow is called Neptune and I'm gonna use just this angled liner brush and sort of load up the brush. I'm kind of just like pressing the brush into the color, really getting a good amount of the color on there and giving it a tap. And then I'm going to start at the center um, of my bottom lash line under my lashes because my lashes are kind of long and i got to get under there. So I'm just going to work my way in there and just start pressing that color in. So you can see I'm not just going like this and like drawing a line. I'm pressing the color in so that it shows up nice and rich and really pressing it into my... Um, my lashes and then once I get to the outer corner here I'm just gonna create a nice little wing nothing too crazy but just something a little different I like to call this like a reverse wing because it's not the wing isn't on your top lash line it's on the bottom so it's just kind of something different to try and now one more thing I'm going to do with the blue down here is I don't like that my um, waterline is sort of bare. So I'm going to take this blue liner by NYX and the color is called Sunrise Blue. And again, just from the halfway point and on, make sure I have clean fingers here, I'm going to apply this blue just into my waterline. Just because it's really going to you see it gives it a little more of a finished look just so you don't see the skin there of the waterline. And really you could do this whole blue thing just with the pencil. You don't have to use a shadow. I just thought it was a really pretty shadow. That's why I used it. But you could just do the whole thing with the pencil or even do the pencil and then layer over it with the shadow for an even more vibrant look. Totally up to you. Okay, so I've added the blue to my other eye too. And now one final thing that I want to do with the eyes is... You can use a shadow to do this, but I'm going to be using the highlighter that I used on my face earlier since it is a nice sort of white gold shade. And I'm just going to take a smudge brush and just highlight the inner corners of my eyes just lightly. All right, moving right along to the mascara. Now I'm going to be doing something a little bit different with the mascara too. I'm going to take my Too Faced mascara just because I've been using this so much lately. It's kind of been my go-to. And instead of applying the mascara all the way across, again, I want more of just sort of an effortless, earthy look. So I'm going to take the wand and just start applying to the outer half of my lashes. So this is just going to kind of make my eyes turn up at the ends and just make it look less glamorous and more sort of undone, more boho I guess and then I'm gonna actually do the same exact thing for the bottom lashes I'm just gonna hit the very center I'm not gonna go all the way across just these few little hairs 
right in the center. One more thing that I'm gonna do for the eyes is just um, polish up my brows a little bit if I can find my brow gel. Here it is, if you watched my um, brow video two videos back, um, you know that I am obsessed with the NYX brow mascara and this is in chocolate. So I'm not gonna fill my brows, all I'm gonna do is go in and just kinda polish them up and set them with this stuff. And same thing on this side. And these just lighten up my brows just slightly too, which is nice. Okay, so we're almost done. All I have left are the lips. And for this, all I'm gonna do is just apply a really sheer pink gloss. I'm just gonna take my um, Urban Decay Gloss in Love Child and just apply this. It's a nice sheer pink. It goes beautifully with this look. And just apply that. Not too much, because I don't want it to be too slick. So that's it for this look, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. You know I don't use color too often, so I'm a little nervous about this look. I do hope you love it, and if you do, give it a thumbs up, and let me know in the comments what you think, and don't forget to leave me a question in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys, and I'll see you very soon.